Ladies and gentlemen, bugs and grubs, potatoes of all ages, it is time for a stream. It's time for the Wizard of Oz. This is our main save for Football Manager 2023. You are live right here in the DP Dome with your old mate, DP, on a Monday evening. We started this journey with Adelaide United FC in my hometown of Adelaide, Australia. We won the A-League Finals and the FFA Cup. It was pretty great. Then we got a, got a gig over in South Korea with John Yam Dragons FC. We won K-League 2, K-League 1, the Korean FA Cup and the AFC Champions League. Next stop on our little world tour here was Italy. We joined Palermo FC in Serie B. We couldn't get to Serie A because that's how the alphabet works. We failed. We didn't fail. We ran out of money. Anyway, we left there. We wound up in Germany with our mini Bielefeld FC. We got promoted to the Bundesliga from Zwei Bundesliga, uh, European, uh, sorry, European Cup, uh, Europa League final, <laughs> a couple of German Cup finals, and a Conference League title, two our names, and that got us a gig at Newcastle United in the Premier League in England. But the job's not done, ladies and gentlemen. There's still more work to do. We've got ourselves to Europe. We can check that off the to-do list. We've still got to win the European Champions League. We do that, job done, save, over. That's the name of the game here uh, in the DP Dome for the Wizard of Oz for 2023. And we are actually ready to start a brand spanking new season because I've been up to shenanigans after work. Yes, I have. How are we doing, everybody? Welcome to the stream it's a nice chill monday night i've recovered from the disappointment of last season we're going to do a quick recap of everything that's gone down uh in the last 24 hours we had a really long stream yesterday we're on live for like six hours it was crazy because it was sunday and i had nothing to do anyway if we go to the competition screen uh we'll show you what went on stages we'll go back to last season there we are we finished ninth European spots wound up going all the way to eighth because of the way uh, the FA Cup and uh, the Mickey Mouse Cup went. We've just missed out. Look at it once again. Story of our lives in this save. Goal difference behind Aston Villa. Can you believe it? Made worse by the fact we could only draw with them on the last day of the season. If we'd beaten them, we would have had a European spot. Only Conference League again, but Europe is Europe. So that was a little bit disappointing. Anyway, we've got business going on. We have spent way too much money. We've brought in a lot of money. There were a couple of unanticipated sales, offers too good to turn down. Some of them happened yesterday. Some of them happened off stream. I've gone through pretty much the whole summer up until the start of the season. We play Brentford tomorrow. I haven't done the press conference yet. But I want to show you what's going on with the transfers, <clears throat> or more to the point, the transfer history. So, first of all, the transfers out, and there have been a few. Uh, Mohamed Montez, our left winger, has gone to Manchester United for 51 million. Not a bad piece of business, considering we spent on him uh, 27.5. So we just about doubled our money. Uh, it was pretty, pretty great. Uh, a couple of players have left on freeze. Yannick Lohman also went to Manchester United. Another left winger for 41 million quid. We've done that deal because this club paid 5.25 million for him. That's it. Huge profit. Couldn't turn it down. We started, mind you, with a budget of 80 million. And you can see what's going on over the other side. Charles Barker, our young midfielder, he's gone out on loan to Leverkusen for a season. 
uh, just because uh, we're not trying to bid him off or anything. He just needs more game time. He'll get it there and he'll be great. And now has gone out on loan again as well. Um, and uh, Patino is gone, not our superstar Patino, the other one, the young one. Uh, we binned him off, got a few million for him, and that was great. In terms of player purchases, uh, Milian Novakovic, who we met at Armenia Bielefeld, we bought him there, 46 million. Uh, he's our new backup left back. He can also give us some cover uh, up on the left wing if we need it. Gil is a player we've had our eye on for a few years, even before we got to Newcastle. Uh, he's a new midfielder. He's going to be great. He's an important player. He's Brazilian, 23 years old. No caps yet, but we'll fix that in no time. Bunch of youngsters have come in. Roberto's a guy that took forever to sign, and every club on the planet was in for him. He's a 28-year-old midfielder. Uh, he's going to play centrally. Uh, he's got some decent speed. He's got a fair bit of skill. He's basically just covering central mid because of some of the other sales that happened um, before everything ticked over the new season, and we will check back there in a minute. I just want to take you through the signings. This guy I'm excited about, Alessandro Delacorte. Uh, we spent way too much money on him, 14 million. He's very young, he's not quite cooked, and he's not ready to go, but five-star potential, he could be great. We're training him up to play over here on the left wing, but attacking mid, there's a story behind that, and he can cover at striker if he needs to. I think he could be a superstar, and uh, really, we got him for a bit of a steal. Another young one who was nothing. And then we signed this guy, Bakayo Saka. You may have heard of him. Uh, played for Arsenal forever. We got him for just seven million quid. He's played at Arsenal his whole career and he's still getting the job done. Uh, we sold two left wingers. We needed another one. He can also cover over on the right and can cover in midfield and can play left back in a pinch, much like another player we used to love, Chuck Man. Uh, he's 34, he's an old man, but I figure for seven million, it's very low risk. It's a one-year deal. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't really hurt us. Cristiano Nunez is another 19-year-old. Bags of potential. Uh, paid way too much money for him, but cover all up the spine of the pitch and at right back, which is important. He'll get some game time. Uh, he mainly brought him in to give us some cover at defensive mid. There's a story behind that too. Alejandro Silva is a centre-back. A very good one. He's 32. We need more experience in the back line. We haven't had it. We've got Guay, who's aging and on the decline. This guy is in his prime. Uh, very, very good player. Very good history um, for what he's done. He's played at Porto, United, Tottenham, Chelsea. He's been all over the place. He's won titles, and that's the calibre of player we need at this club to get the job done. There's another signing still pending, but if we go back last season the other bits of business that we did uh this guy norberto guay or, or go goes i don't know he's our new striker uh and again bags of potential he's 23 so he might not fulfill it but he's been great in pre-season he's very quick uh he's good in the air which we've lacked in a striker for a long time um and expecting big big things from him um, we've also loaned this guy to help out at defensive mid, Alberto Allegre from Arsenal, and that's happened recently. Uh, again, paying too much for a loan, but, you know, needs must. Um, and that was pretty much it there, but the sales all happened down here, and there's so many of them. But we binned off Fogden, he's gone out on loan, we never want him back. We sold Lukovic for 80 million quid, we sold Rodrigo Morales, both our strikers, for a total of 120 million. I'm actually pretty happy with that piece of business. Then we got an offer for Ricardo Franco from Arsenal for 84 million. His value shot up. He was really good for us. Um, uh, we paid 45, we've made a profit. He had a decent season, but not great. If we kept him, he probably would have bedded in a lot better, um, but we haven't got time for that. <laughs> so he's gone and we cashed in big time and bought a butt ton of players. The remaining transfer business that looks like it's happening. Jonathan Boule, our defensive mid, looks to be on his way out in an 80 million quid deal, I think it is. 90 million. 90 million quid. Uh, and Lewis Bailey from Manchester United is the guy I'm trying desperately to bring in to replace him so we're not just stuck with a 19 year old playing in, at defensive mid. Um, the reason we signed that young um, 
uh, attacking midfielder as well is I've been playing with some secondary tactics for when things get tight if we're chasing a game we're going to switch to this a 4-2-3-1 that's my plan I planned it but we've got a pretty good looking squad I feel like we may have weakened it a little bit um, but we'll see how we go we've got more experience where we need it in the back line uh, and up front to help out I'm a lot more positive about uh, Norberto than I was uh, with the other players. Um, the other guy we brought in on loan, Barracliffe, uh, is on loan from Chelsea, title winners. Um, he's been pretty good, uh, but he's just there as a backup. We've also brought in this guy as a backup striker. He's been lighting it up in pre-season. He's 24. He's probably not going to get much better. Um, but again, most of his stats are good, and he's decent in the air. So... No complaints, and he can play on either side and provide a bit of cover on the left wing should we require it. And uh, yeah, overall, I'm pretty positive uh, about our prospects. I'm not super duper mega excited. <laughs> In fact, uh, it's probably fair to say I'm a little bit terrified about how this is all going to go down this season. But there's only one way to know for sure, and that's to dive in and try to make it happen. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Also, uh, Christensen, still injured, got injured at the end of last season. He's going to be out for another seven weeks. Antonio Silva, the new centre-back, also picked up a knock. He's going to be out for another couple of weeks. Uh, they both picked up injuries in pre-season, which is very, very sad. Mr. Lucas is in the chat telling me all about the hockey. Let's see. Avalanche 6-4 over Seattle. Uh, Golden Knights lose and Devils are one. Carolina won, Boston won, Dallas won, Edmonton won. Knicks beat the Cavs, that's ridiculous. Bucks aren't having fun. Philly swept Brooklyn, that's pretty hilarious. Kings Warriors is tied. Boston, Denver and Phoenix all out 3-1 of my own. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Now I'm up to speed. Right. First press conference of the season. Uh, and... No comment because I don't know what the question is. Press conference is out of the way. I'm excited for the first game. It's against Brentford. Um, oh, that's the other thing I wanted to show everybody. Uh, the season preview. Uh, it's not great, but we've improved. So we're expected to finish at or around seventh place, which is an improvement on last season when we predicted ninth. Um, not the kind of jump upstanding as you'd expect after spending I think half a billion pounds in two seasons but uh, hey we'll see how we go <sighs> so a lot more changes than I wanted to make this season um, I really didn't want to upset the apple cart that much but the core of the team is still together the defense is pretty stable uh, the midfields had a bit of an overhaul, the attacks had an overhaul, but the youngsters are still here and will get game time, like Vale, like Werner, uh, and the other guys. So, there's a lot to look forward to. Everyone wants to loan Vale, and I'm not letting him go. Forget it. Reject all oh, offers. You're staying here, and you're playing for us, and I don't care if you get upset. And you probably will get upset, and that's fine. But I need him. Oh. Turns out Horak, who we signed uh, last January, to help us out as well. Um, he can actually play on the right wing. So we've got a bit of extra cover there. Right wing is where we're weakest. We've got a Spreer. He's pretty good. This will be... Oh, well, we did sign a new deal, actually. I was going to say it's his last season at the club, but he signed a new two-year contract because I'm a monster. Um... After Espria, it's pretty slim picking. So we've got uh, Saka there who can help out as well now. Um, and all the youngsters who, just like last season, are going to get game time off the bench for sure. No, you're not leaving the club, Vale. It's not happening. Sobule. So now we need the other deal to go through or we're in a spot of bother playing the system that we have in place. Saka's upset. 
Well, it's great to have a chat to him. Sort it out. And he does. Oh, I love having a club captain who's actually effective at doing that. We've never had it before <laughs> in this save. And uh, we're going to bring in our replacement. Beautiful. And that was a hard deal. He's going to be one of the highest paid players. This club. The highest paid player is going to be uh, Saka. Um, he's going to be second and he's going to be great. So, yeah. I'm excited. He's going to come straight in, having never trained with anybody. Does he arrive today or do we not get him until tomorrow? Uh, we don't get him today. Pick. This is all going wrong. All right, we need to sort out this bench because it could be an issue. <laughs> God. Oh, God. Right there. We also don't have a backup goalkeeper at the moment because uh, a backup goalkeeper is at the Olympics. <gasps> There we go. Uh, not ideal. If Allegro is not cutting the mustard after a little bit, we'll switch it up and we'll go to our other formation because that's why the option exists. Oop. Okay, cool. What's going on with dynamics? Why is everybody grumpy? Well, he's gone. We'll see. Maybe they'll cheer up when we bring in the other guy. Hey! Submit squad numbers. Do the registration. Hey! We're now meeting the minimum requirements of eight players trained in England. That was the other reason I was chasing it. When we were replacing Boulay, um, yeah, the, the biggest requirement I had um, there we go. Uh, was that need to be English? So that sets us up a little bit better. To meet our target of European qualification. Or at least if we do qualify for Europe, we won't have to do major, major work to meet the, uh, all the rules. What I was looking for. Are we at home? We are at home. First game of the season. Let's get it on. Also, we started a little bit earlier tonight. So that's the thing. And that'll probably be a regular thing and I'll adjust the schedule accordingly. Um, around 7, 7.30, we'll be kicking off now. Daylight Savings is over um, here in the merry old land of Oz. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see how that goes. It's worth a shot. Okay. We are off to the races. Get it done. The other problem is signing a player from United who were one of our like biggest rivals. Um, people might be a little bit upset about that. Namely, all this mob, the fans. So, you know, we'll see how that goes. We've been pushed back here. We tried an attack, the spree didn't really Set my world on fire with his efforts. But now we're on the move again. Here's a Spreer. Playing it over the top. Finds Gill. Our new midfielder. Plays it in to a Spreer. And we're off the mark for the season in the first minute 
of the season. It's like we're playing Tottenham. If you haven't seen the highlights of the uh, the Tottenham game this morning, please go and check it out. And if you can, set it to Benny Hill music. It's amazing. I haven't seen a team implode like that since last week when United played um, Sevilla. Anyway, that's a whole different thing. I wonder if that's Al Morales. Did we sell him to Brentford? I don't think we did. That doesn't sound right. Oh, we'll find out at some point. Yeah, get in there, get stuck in. Chase him down, get the ball off the goalkeeper. Nope. Getting pulled a bit wide here. Asprey's taking the ball away. He's all over him. He's decided he's shown up to play in this match for once, which is great. To Panicatas, to Gill, nearly. Good work from Bailey, new defensive mid. He's been at the club about an hour. Asprey's in again. He's got a brace in the first two minutes of the game. The first two minutes of the match, we're 2-0 up against Brentford. Positive signs, everybody. We're top of the league. End the season now. Defensive error led to the goal, really, but... Uh, was the right idea with the pass from Patino. It was lovely. Yeah, all right, we don't need to see it again. Uh, we're going to praise the lads because, holy crap. Talk about a positive start. I am a happy camper. The last time we started a game like this was, well, in yesterday's stream, playing Chelsea, who were top of the league, and we smashed them 4-1. Our new striker's off the mark, Norberto Goez. Gets the trumpets for his first competitive goal for Newcastle United. And look who it was. New defensive mid, Bailey, setting it up. Alright, I'm feeling a little bit better about my transfer business now. This afternoon when I was getting it all done, I was very worried that we'd weaken the squad massively. Oh, that's poor. Did I mention we still have the same defence? Yeah. Yeah. Uh. I mean, that's less exciting, isn't it? I don't like conceding goals. It's not fun. So come on, lads. Let's go get... What's going on here? I need to see... Match stats. We're doing okay. Probably fouled him too much. So we'll turn that off. And just settle down a bit. I'm thinking we might drop to a balanced mentality. I'm going to demand more. Costa, playing it out wide. And a cut. Up to Espria. He's been on fire so far. He's had a quiet half an hour since he's lighting it up. There's a ball over the top looking for him. Couldn't find him. We've given that away, but the ball has been intercepted by Bukayo Saka. Over the top to Espria. Goes is in. Oh, he's hit the crossbar. We're still attacking. We've hit the woodwork three times then. Okay, so besides conceding the goal, we're doing pretty well. And we're just going to monitor fitness levels. So pre-season training, um, I did set a couple of weeks up for pure physical because we know from last season that was an issue. Half an hour to go. We're going to make a couple of changes. Kovic has not been stupendous. Spree is tired, so Vern is going to come on for him. And it's going to do for now. Saka's picked up a knock as well, so well, he's getting a run. Do, do, 
do, do, do, do, do. I want to give one of our uh, other strikers a bit of a run too. Probably the one we own, not the lone E, but we'll see how we go. Referee! Guys has been cleared out there. Good work for Panicardas to win the set. Bailey now, up to Gill, to Patino. Plays it high and over, looking for Valet. She tried to chip the keeper. Head in the hands. If he'd leathered that, it was probably a goal. Now we just need to win the football back, which we should do, unless De La does something stupid. He doesn't. Wow. Sverner, looking for a pass or a shot. He shoots. It's gone over, but... I'm not going to fault him for that. Right idea. Right, 15 minutes ago, Patino's tied. He can come off for Roberto. And for my final trick, um, yeah, Meridina's going to come on. Go as. We've got a couple of games this week, so let's share the workload a little bit. Closing down, pushing back. I like it. Nope. Get out of there. Good work. Strong defending. We just need to finish the job now and get it out of our half. Ball from Gill. Thought that was going in. Yikes. Yikey dakey dake dake. We're going to demand more for the last 10 minutes just because. Um, and let's go back to positive while we can. And hope we don't get punished for it. Wrexham Team Store sold out. Yeah, I'm not surprised at all. Not one iota. It's like back when United won the treble trying to find a United shirt anywhere. It was impossible. Oh, Meridine's in. Oh, but not in enough. Burner looking for a pass. Finds Gill. Gill scored his first goal for the club. This is awesome. What a way to start the season. I thought Maradina was going to be in there, but he couldn't get to the ball. Just wasn't quick enough. But really good eyes from Bona to pick out Gigil, bursting into the area. He's exhausted, mind you. So is Bailey. Bailey's been great. Very happy with that signing. I'll tell you what. First game of the season. That, boys and girls is a victory. We need to chip him. You weren't at your best. Gil, you were really good. Bailey, thought you did well today. Spria, proud of his performance. Goez. And I'm gonna, I don't often do it for anyone under a 7.5. Vance came off the bench and been awesome. Gold cost us top spot in the league. This is the area we want to stay in if we can. It's early days, but we'll see how we go. One game up, one victory. Love it. And it was our Morales. Poor bugger. That's why I sold you, mate. You're not good enough. Sats picked up a knock, which isn't great. Gil scored on debut, which is beautiful. Spria with his brace was great. So scouting focus, we're done with transfer business now. Because I've spent all the money. And again, very early days, but based on that performance, you'd have to say, money well spent. Check where Leicester are expected to finish because I might not play but Koviak in the next one. Give um back a bit your run. Left back is our problem position. There's always one. Every year. 
honestly, you just struggle to find someone who fits and is effective. Ugh. My FM21 save, it was right back. Couldn't find a right back to save my life until I signed a young Brazilian who was an absolute champion. Louis Bailey is our new record signing. 95 million pounds. One David Yaramillo has won the Golden Boot at the Olympic Games. And he's not worth a scout. But we've got the best goalkeeper from the Olympics. Look at that. Nice one. And he's been named in the dream team. Well, that is just lovely. Well done to our Newcastle lad at the Olympic Games. Good stuff. Press conference for Louis Bailey. I'm really happy with that signing. So what had happened with that signing, because it was a bit of an episode, uh, was uh, the initial offer for Boulay came in and I ummed and ahed about it. I ended up accepting the offer. It was for less money. It was about 86 million. So not dramatically less, but less. Um, did that, lined up the signing of Louis Bailey, who wasn't interested in negotiating terms, but we could discuss a contract and everything else. Um, and when push came to shove, I chickened out of the deal. <laughs> I don't want this kid, but we don't have the money. Or do we? It's tempting. It's very tempting. I'm not using the suggested training. That's a mugs game. Uh, anyway, when push came to shove, I chickened out of the deal and cancelled it. Usually when that happens, mate, oh, everyone's grumpy. What's up? Okay, well that's gone well. Daria's upset, but Koviak's upset. Everyone else is okay. I think we put out the fire. Yeah, we fixed the dynamics. Nice. Oh, first time ever a team meeting's gone okay. I nearly panicked. It was a little bit terrifying. Anyway, uh, the offer came in for Bulle again at 90 million. Couldn't turn it down. Uh, and the other reason I had to cancel that deal is because other transfers went through and I didn't have the 45 million to pay up front for Bailey anymore. So I delayed it. Bayern didn't come back in for Boule. So it's like, well, now I'm stuck. Killed the deal. And then right before the start of the season, or about a week before, Bayern came back, went back in for Bailey. It looked like United weren't going to accept the offer, but they were like, hey, if you resubmit the offer, you may, we'll consider it. They made us sweat. For a few days which sucked um, but eventually they did accept it which was great and uh, yeah as you saw it all went through but I wasn't at all confident we were gonna get that one across the line and now he's come in played his first game straight off the straight off the bus and uh, it was excellent so yeah no complaints Barraclough's gonna get a run because Meridine has got himself injured because he's a silly boy is everyone fresh? Everyone but Panacard is so in theory I can play Dario back there for a game. But I won't because he's very grumpy. But I will, because I can. Um Nabakovic is in a better headspace and I wasn't happy with his first performance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, 
Uh, that's what we're going to check where Leicester are at in the season preview states. 13th. How do we drop down to 8th? Baffling. Probably because we have Boulay sold him, brought him Bailey. He's not as well regarded. Whatever. That's fine. He's going to be awesome. He'll prove everybody wrong. I have no doubt. This is expected to be a sellout against Leicester at King Power. They're telling me to start Gway. Do we start Gway? I will if he's fit. Let's check his fitness level. Gway, you fit? Where are you? Where are you hiding? Ah, you fit now. Let me start Bali the Shaka as well. And we'll kick off with Roberto in there. You, you don't want to be a halfback, do you? What do you want to be? An anchor man. Okay. And done. I'm feeling very positive about this team. Like, legitimately. David, who's David Fox? 28 year old Northern Irish winger that I can't afford. Don't like the chances. Oh, incidentally, with all the transfers, we've racked up a huge amount of debt at the club as well. So uh, uh, we really need to qualify for European football this season. No pressure. No pressure. We've, all, we've also promised a majority of the squad we're going to win uh, some species of uh, domestic cup. Leicester want to sign one of the players I can't stand. So, yes, you can have him. And please, play him against us because he's rubbish. It's a Carabao Cup day that we don't play in yet. Ha 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 ha. Cheers, everybody. Fix that up. There you go. Cheers. Get the logo in there. It's not my logo. Keep seeing videos everywhere, like the scenes from Wrexham's title win and promotion stuff. It's very, very cool. And I mentioned before, I really enjoyed the uh, the show. The Welcome to Wrexham. Do, 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 do. I want this guy. What's it going to cost me? Yes. Skin. A buyback clause has expired. Come on. Yep. I've already signed a scout. Okay. Well, the other one won't go through. Excellent. Do, 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 do. Let's play another game against Leicester. I know it's Leicester. Fun to say lunches. It's my story and I'm sticking to it. Send him on a language course. Recommend me a signing. Uh, restart that. Do, 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 do. I did keep looking for strikers too, by the way. Let's see if we could get someone awesome. Ivan Pollard, completely out of the question. However, to qualify for Champions League, we should have a ridiculous budget. And, uh, yeah, you know I'm going in for it. We don't have any lines in the team at the moment. Which probably bodes ill. Uh, I do need to strip a body out of this squad somewhere. Because we should really have... Backup goal keeper on the bench. Panic out to play other side. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to 
Let's stick with the positive mentality, even though we're away from home. Let's see how we go. And again, if we need to change the game, then we can just adjust as required. And Bailey can step up and play central midfield if needed as we adjust. So... Okay, looking good. Come on, let's go. Two in a row. Let's get a win away from home, which we never do. It's not true. We do all the time. Encouraging from the kickoff. Taking no chances. They've got the football, so I already hate this. Spree is back there and just takes it away again. We saw him do it in the last game too. Roberto plays it through. He goes. He's lost it. He's won a corner. He just took it too wide, I think. It wasn't a great run. But we've got an opportunity. I've done nothing with the corner instructions and since all the changes and new signings. Um, I haven't tweaked the set piece takers either. I should probably do that. Let's go as launches it, look away. Let's head it out. Another corner. So we're putting them under some pressure. Had less of the ball. Here's Gil now. To Bailey, still Basic, plays it over. It's hit too hard. He's laying it up. Go as run on to. See way more of the ball. What's happening here? I've opened up too much space there. That's annoying. Now we're chasing the game. We're not, cost me this loud. I'm gonna stick positive, because as soon as I put it to balance, we put ourselves under more pressure and I don't care for it. I'm gonna demand more. Guay's having a shocker. Just getting ruined out there. We've got to take him off. So we've made a couple of changes, trying to turn this around. Is it? Oh, hang on. We got a highlight. That didn't last long. Giving it straight back to him. Rubbish. Uh, uh, uh. Get there first. <clears throat> this is because I switched it to attacking. No. Launch it. Time for plan B, kids. Holy crap, 14 grand worth. 
That's a lot of axes. Very attacking, throwing everything at him. I think it's going to finish nil all though. Well, that's disappointing. Looking this good. Why would I look in Discord? Picked up my phone to do it then. It's like I've lit I'm literally sitting at a computer. Do, 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 do. Send the assistant. I don't want to talk about a draw. Blip. What am I looking at? What am I checking it out for? I don't understand. I don't see anything new or freaky. Oh, there we go. First 20 seconds. Let me have a goosey here. It's trying to load. It's thinking about it. You and your heat maps. <sighs> Made it too big and I can't see what's going on. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Did you sign Fogden? Are you the one who bought Fogden from me? <laughs> or Lorente? Oh my word. I apologize if by spending any time here adaptable, you've caught my goalkeeper disease. Far out. <laughs> Oh, I've got to chip some players. You. Who else had a crap rating? It was Quay. Gil didn't have a great game either. But I don't think we need to get too stuck into anybody for it. But now I've got three days and we've got to back up against Liverpool. So I'm going to tweak this. We'll go back to balance for this one. We're not playing positive against Liverpool. That is just recipe for disaster. Okay. Oh, it was Vale, he wasn't great as well. But I mean, he still wound up with a 6.6. .6, so, he wasn't setting the world on fire, but it could have been worse. What do you actually want to do? You just want to be in his arm. Okay, okay. Come on, Silver, get fit. Nine days. Anyone else here I want to bring in? I don't think so. So, yeah, starting squad, pretty strong. Bench, as you can see from ability, 
kind of falls off a cliff. But they're young, they've got potential. We just need to give them the game time. And against some of the weaker clubs and cup comps, like, we'll absolutely do that. Three suggestions for this one. Yes, go out and play 90 minutes. Yes, go out and play 90 minutes and find some form. Leave Vale alone. It's not happening. And the more insulting part of that loan offer is they're like, oh, if you want to keep him, we'll give you 1.3 million for him. I don't think so. Kid's going to be awesome. Cup draw. Who we got? Reading. Again, we played Reading last season in the FA Cup. Cool. Let's see if we can get through an extra round of the Carabao Cup this season. That would be handy. And it's probably the domestic cup we've got the biggest shot at taking out. I'm still tempted. Mm, this is going to be a tough match. Tough, tough match. Where did we slip to in the league after that draw? I will reinforce. We're undefeated in our second season. Why do you want me to play? I don't want him to be consistent. He just had a rubbish game. It's our 600th game in management, everybody. Look at that. Amazing. Now, want me to play Horak on the right. No, I think I'll stick with the sprayer if it's all the same to you. Opposition report. Liverpool will be tough to beat. You're yeah, not kidding. Yes, you can go to Kaiser Slouten. So you're not going to play here, Augustine. So <coughs> do one. What was I checking? Where we are in the league. That's right. We're six. We're above Liverpool. What are we what are we worried about? We're undefeated. One one drawn one. We're undefeated. Fact. This might be a record for us. Three games in an hour of a stream. Craziness. You have trained crappy. You have also trained crappy. And you've trained crappy. But I can't criticize. You train good. You train good. I was tempted to start Werner, but a game against Liverpool is not the one to do it. Against West Ham, I might. Because the Spree's going to need a breather at some point. But yeah, today's not the day. But him and Vale need to play more football. It's all part of the plan. I'm not offering Nunes out for loan. And look at that. Del Conte. Four goals he scored for the under 21s. Telling you something about that kid. Maybe I should loan him out for the season. Because he won't get a lot of football here because of the position he plays. Mm. You're not going to Fulham. wages and I want stupid money it's 
Let's see if anybody buys. I doubt they will. What do you want, Volley? Patinho, can you sort him out? You're a champion. We sorted him out. He got a grumpy on because I wouldn't sell him to Fulham. For 1.3 million on a crap loan deal. I tried to placate him and lied and just said, hey, they wanted us to keep paying your wages. I don't want to do that. He was still grumpy. So I've just said, well, buddy, tough, titty wampers. And he was like, all right. <laughs> Fantastic. And now he's not grumpy no more. Dynamics should be improved. Yes, a team cohesion sucks, but you know that's all right. How much longer? Six days. We'll be at full strength in centre back soon. I'm excited for it. Six fit. Nunes is not fit. Silver's not fit. We're still in sixth place. Come on. Let's go win a game of football. They really, they've really got a boner for me playing Horak out there. All right, we'll do it. Why not? It's Liverpool. It's the worst that can happen. All the pressure on them. Let's get it done, kids. And we're away from home, so... Even a point out of this, I'd take it. But a loss against Liverpool, kind of acceptable, I guess. It won't make or break our season. He says missing out on European football by a point last year. Anyway, we'll, we'll see how we go. We get the ball on off him and do our usual thing. You're just stealing it, running, and doing something cool. That'd be great. Don't let him through. What did I just say? What did I just say, gentlemen? That guy's got a stupid mohawk and I hate it. No! Delabasic finally does something decent as a defender. Hit him on the counter. Let's go. Nope. It's not what I wanted. This is the opposite of what I wanted. That's our striker tracking back to intercept that ball. Awesome stuff. Work rate. I love it. to be less focused on working the ball into the box too. Ah, oh, that was poor from Horak. Better not cost us. Or I'm going to be really angry. Deal. It's a good strike, but damn it. So now we're going to go positive. Panicardis is on a six point two. 
which is a disgrace. You're going the right way to get subbed before half time, buddy. You're supposed to be my super dependable right back, and you're screwing the pooch here. And we're just giving the ball away cheaply. Saka! Petrosko to Bailey. Back to Petrosko. Back to Kobiak. To Saka. Plays it long. Finds goes. Taking that way too deep. Now they're coming at us. More positive signs. Saka's doing the Espria trick. Espria, I should say. I'm just, yeah, I'm a winger, but I'm basically going to play as a defensive mid for a bit. Oh, that's a good ball. Up to Horak. Across. And we have equalised. The better goal is his second goal of the season. Two from three. Leveled the score against the Liverpudlians. Lovely stuff. Back on level P, we did it the hard way and there were a few close calls in that passage, but an assist for Horak, clever pass, it was a good run. Go has good vision and good pace to get there. Preemptive encourage. See, now Liverpool are gonna be angry and, and come at us and be horrible about it, but at least we're putting up a fight. We haven't just rolled over and said, all right, you're Liverpool, we lose, we get it. It's like, no, we are Newcastle. We can beat you clowns. We play football, we know what we're doing. That's a good ball. Another good ball from Goez to Gill. Rush of blood to the head, couldn't get any sting on the shot. Because he was in there. He was dead set in. Artis is having a nightmare at right back. Our midfield's not having a fun time. Go again, gentlemen. They've already got some really tired bodies and we need to capitalize on that if we can. I can't in good conscience keep Panicatas out on the pitch. I can't do it. I refuse. And girls not had a good day either, so I'm making that change. Exhausted. What are you talking about? I can't make any more substitutions. It's just gonna have to play on then. Get the first Alabasic, he does. Anything dumb, kick the football. <laughs> no, he's just sat there and let it go, and this is going to cost us a goal. Thank you. 
trying it. It's four minutes left. Oh, oh. Could we pinch a win in injury time? Come on, we've changed the shape. We're doing everything we want to do. We're doing it our way. Come on. Don't give the football away. Come on, come on, play it forward. All right, find a body. Oh! Oh! So close to stealing the win. Right at the death as well. One all. I said I'd take a draw. I'll absolutely take it. Disappointing to not pinch it at the death. been worse. One all against Liverpool. They smashed us last season. And they did score a very good goal. We were under pressure for long periods, but we put them under a fair amount of pressure as well at times. So again, positives we can take away from that. Seven days for the next game. Everybody gets a day off. Actually, no, nobody gets a day off. You don't need one. So far, so good. We just need to string a couple of wins together now. Where we at? So West Ham can still jump us. Boo! We play them next. We just got to. We got to stay in touch this season. We can't have hiccups like we did last year. Got a good team. It might be a little bit bumpy. Here's here's what I expect. It might be a little bit bumpy up until Christmas. But I suspect then it's gonna it's gonna level right out, and we're gonna be in really good shape once everyone's bedded in. Players have started learning the language. here for a season. I want him playing. Someone's got to make an offer, surely. Surely. Interesting. The West Ham's Garrett Report. I'm not scared of West Ham, and I'll tell you why. Because they signed Billy Stapley from our mini Bielefeld. We remember Stapley. He's not that great. And he came in not that long ago either, so he won't be bedded in or anything yet. We remain sixth place. time also we remain undefeated I did have a cheeky look at Erling Haaland who was available for under 50 million don't you know um, I would have put in an offer but the fact that we're not playing Champions League wasn't interested and that was the case with a lot of players early on in the window when we had money to burn um, 
we're having a, a look at a bunch of um, like that level of player, but the lack of Champions League, big factor. Send me an email. Right, that's what I was going to do. Need to fix all these. Especially now we've got legit set piece takers. Yep, set pieces done. So one near post, one far post. And we can actually aim for our striker because he's good in the air. For once. The prices just continue to get more and more ludicrous for some of these players, which is the other reason we desperately need to qualify for Champions League. Because the sort of players we need, we're going to have to pay about 200 million quid for. Who's Garcia? Oh, Hermes. Oh, you idiot, Barraclip. You idiot. Dini's injured for weeks as well. Ugh. The silver is almost fit, which is great. Be able to get him back in the team once he's fit. He can play against Reading. Ha ha! It's a good thing. fun bit. It's not a bit what I like. Do we loan out Nunez? I think we loan out Nunez. Oh, hello. Someone will come in. 
we make an office all through the window, again, I'd rather we be playing. Championship club? Yep, yeah, sounds about right. from his loan. No, I want him playing in Leverkusen. He won't get the game time here. We need him to go over there, have a really good season. And then come back and be awesome. Aha! Oh, sorry, Delacourt. Had a couple of offers. This is good. Well, an offer, at least. For half his wages. It's something. Something's better than nothing. I'll take it. Oh, bloody armour. Get him some game time. Get him playing. Get him awesome. Do our job for us, as long as you're not a rubbish club. How we looking? Hey. Benavache, Olympiakos, AK, Besiktas. Well, what are your facilities like? Excellent training facilities, great youth facilities. Superb, so we're definitely accepting the Olympiakos offer. AK. Superb as well, beautiful. Nope. I'm all fan of bar chains. Excellent. Great. Okay. I can handle that. Hey! Yeah, 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 yeah. Need those kids playing. I'm thinking about using the 4 2 3 1 against Reading and not using a defensive mid just to see how we go. Possibly crazy. They don't want us to make any changes for the West Ham game. We're at home. So confident. But yeah. Imminently. That's what we want to hear. Sort of.
Everybody's fresh. Running one line up, boy. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Come on, we can beat West Ham. Beat West Ham. Yes. Half a million quid for a play we used to own. Nice. Should we send some of these guys on training forces? Now what's the best way to figure that out? Look at the hierarchy. So these guys are fine. Coutinho, yes we should. Della Basic, I think we should. And uh, Goez, it's probably Guay. I'm saying his name wrong. about some leadership courses for the lads. Before we start this game, I'm going to go to the bathroom. So you are going to take a quick break. Everybody can get up, stretch legs, stretch cables, take a walk, smoke if you got them. I'll go and... Uh, you don't need the details. Uh, and then when we come back, we will kick the ever-living crap out of the ham of West. Sammy Lakonga, Kone, Kimmich, Edna Militao. These are all to manage our uh, under-21s, by the way. So in the Congo, yeah. Doesn't have a continental coaching license, so you wouldn't be able to do it. You don't have a continental coaching license. You don't have a coaching license. You've got a B license. B license. You guys are all idiots. You're not going to get work permits, you donkeys. We'll try anyway. This is the best of bad bunch. <coughs> Oh, it's sneezing. My head's trying to explode. Good lord. Search ends for recruitment analysts. Right. Break time, kids. We'll be back in a few minutes and then we'll get stuck back into it. Probably three more games in stream tonight. It's going to be a good one. Stick around.
And we're back. Let's go play West Ham. Cheers, everybody. Manchester Tarp is happening as well. Also, not going to lie, disappointed with the United's effort this morning. I was watching the highlights from the FA Cup game. And... Uh, we didn't deserve to go through. Who's Antonio Silva? Silva. What? He's not picking up. He's not doing that. There's a squad. Let's go. I got all confused for a minute. Okay. Oh, oh, West Ham at home. Let's win. Do, 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 do. I'm a poet. Didn't even know I was rhyming those words. All right. More of the same from you today. Do that thing. Do this. Lots of green. I love it. Go. Run top. Still the first minute. Score it. Mm. Oh, they're gonna try and hit us on the counter. Let's get the football back. They're, they're running away from us. I don't care for this at all. Who's covering this clown? Hey, Bailey just takes it away. Mm, nearly. Right idea. Spree's been caught out there. Can he win it back? Can he do his trick? Not this time. But Bailey can. Saka looking for Gil. No joy. It's getting very clogged up at the back here. Getting a little overrun. They've got Lorente in goal. The former rubbish goalkeeper from Bielefeld. Gil's through. Gil's away. Gil's in. Gil shoots. Gomez is there. Puts it in with his head. It might be disallowed for offside. 
I'm not getting too excited, but I'll be really excited if it counts. It does count. Let's go. I'm giving him a trumpet. Our striker scored with a header. It has been a long time since we've seen that, ladies and gentlemen. Good Lord. We're winning balls in the air. Who are we? What have we done with Newcastle? It's crazy. Goes just had three guys all over in there. That's a great ball from Saka. Goes is in. Rounds the keeper. Easy as you like. Drop the praise straight away. 2 0. Great ball from Saka. And guys just rounds the keeper. Makes Lorente overcommit, which we know he's like to do. And there we go. I'm assuming it's the same Lorente. Let's just say it is. Whatever. We're still on a balanced mentality too. I haven't even gone positive yet. Boys are still partying. Settle down, lads. Spree has taken a knock. I'm not going to chance him. It's not worth the risk. We don't have enough of the football. We're 2-0 up. But I don't want to be under this sort of pressure for the whole game. Burn's gone the wrong way there. This was in again. Lorente's made the save, but... Poor. Need a good delivery here. This should be near post. Nope. to try to get more football. Right. I'm positive just to try and force a little bit more momentum and tip the scales back our way because they had a majority of the ball that half. We know our defence isn't good enough to withstand sustained pressure for another 45 minutes. It's a good ball. Up to go as he needs support though. He needs someone helping him out. His body's coming into the middle. He's had a shot. He had Saka who'd made a run on the left, which is probably a better option. Far post corner. It is. Scarlet was there. He's headed over. Let's take Saka off in a minute to protect him. Because he's taken a little bit of a knock. Saka! Oh, that would have been a great goal. Sad times. Dolbasic just leathers it. I've been waiting for him to do that for literally years. Werner, back to Gil. Into Vern. Shoots. Oh, nearly. It's the Kamara guy. How'd the off-season go? The off-season went surprisingly well. We spent a fortune again. We're at like half a billion pounds spent over the last two seasons. So, you know, we got that going for us. Because um, <laughs> I'm a psychopath. Uh, we're going to have to go strikeless, I think. 
Yeah, why the hell not? Although Delaconte, uh, Delacorde can play up front. So we're gonna do that. We'll try him out. That's the worst that can happen. And Gil's exhausted. So Roberto can come on for him. And the defense can just ride it out. And it'll be fine. Um, so a couple of big signings. The fans were very happy that we signed Bakayo Saka from Liverpool for under 8 million. It's a good piece of business. Um, and he's been pretty good so far. Um, our new defensive midfielder, uh, Bailey, has been doing pretty well. Um, yeah, so a bunch of we've spent all the money, got some good signings in, moved out some dead weight. Um, yeah, it's all been pretty positive so far. We're undefeated so far this season. I'd like us to score another goal in this game. Horak takes the ball away. That's what we want. Fun pass. Hey! Boyd Vern's got his first goal. First goal for the club. I told you he's going to be good. That's like his third chance of the game too, and that was the worst one. I wish that other shot had gone in. So his first goal was a worldie, but I'll take it. 3-0. Board expectation, uh, they want European football. I think Europa League. Qualification they're chasing. Uh, Pre-season projection it was seventh place. Um, and I think we can do better than that. Um, quietly, or well, very quietly confident. Um, we've been playing good football and I suspect we're only going to get better as time goes on and everyone beds in. So it could all still go pear-shaped mid-season, but I reckon we'll really hit a stride after Christmas. Once the new players have learnt the language and everybody's settled, should be good. Could be fun. Any kind of European football would be amazing. I'd be super happy. Can we get a black and white shirt on this football, please? I don't want to concede at the death. Trosco just cuts it out. It just says no. Delacorte, put them under pressure. We're trying to loan out so we can play a bit more. Um, we do have both of our backup strikers at the moment injured, which is a bit disappointing. But luckily, go as our main striker is fighting fit, if not struggling a little bit for endurance, <laughs> um, and is in the goals. So zero complaints, and that is a very good win against West Ham. And I am a very very happy DP. You did well, Petrosco. I love your work. Gil, you were really good. Sack was excellent, deserved the goal. Goez, very happy. Horak, super happy with his effort off the bench. And Vern, thought you did well too. We might have stumbled on a good team, everybody. See, I'm not completely useless and dumb all the time. What a busy August this has been. So Mickey Mouse Cup next, and then Derby away in the Prem. And the away games have been the, the iffy ones. Goes is going to leash, of course, so is Della Basic. That's a good thing. Uh, Vernon's getting a pay rise at some point. So the court's made his debut. I liked what I saw. Um, Vale is going to get a pay hike as well. I'm very happy with the investment. And Goez, who we bought from Manchester United. Loving this. Not as quick as I'd like, but all this stuff. This is what I love. An aerial threat up front. And look at his value. 89 to 108 million. What did I pay for him? 42 and a half. And paid over the odds because we had to pay the uh, Manchester United premium. We gave him a lot of money. 
in the summer. Over a hundred million pounds they made off us. But that's fine, because we're getting results. So all we want, if we have a look at the club vision, there we go. So they want top half finish, latter stage of the FA Cup, competitive in EFL Cup. The supporters want either Conference League or Europa League, and they want to be Sunderland. We want to go one better. We did drop down in the season prediction. Um, So season preview, it's changed again. So we were seventh for most of pre-season. I think just before our first game against Leicester, we dropped to eighth. And now we're sitting in sixth. So it's moving around. And we were 20 to one. We're now 16 to one. If we could finish around there, I'd be very, very happy. But that's how we've gone so far. Two wins, two draws. Oh, it was nil all against Leicester. Our first game was against Brentford. The last game sucked. So yeah, uh, question marks over the away form at the moment. Hopefully we can change that against Derby and get a result because it's it's Derby. We've got to be able to eat Derby, and we're going to be able to rest some bodies in this game. Valley's going to start. Vernon's going to start. Roberto's going to start. Borak's going to start. Uh, Legro's going to start. Bailey. Dabakovic. Dario. Silver's going to come in here. Uh, hmm. <clears throat> I think the only one who's had is Fosters. Oh, you poor thing. If uh, uh, don't drink Fosters. If you can find it, um, uh, Coopers, Coopers Pale Ale. Coopers is a good one. Uh, Han is another good one. H A H N. Um. Uh, and James Bogues. So there's three. James Bogues, Khan, and uh, the first one I said. I can't remember what it was now. <laughs> oh, I'm rubbish. You guys need a day off. You need a day off. You need a day off. But yeah, Foster's is awful. Don't drink that. Not a good representation. Cooper's is the other one. Cooper's Pale Ale. Highly recommend. South Australian too. West Ham. Oh. I'm sure you would like to go to Manchester United, but uh, when did I buy this clown? Did I buy him? I did. 43 million. You can go online to Juve. I'm fine with that. Definitely keep an eye out. So there's Cooper's Pale Ale, which is great. They also do a Sparkling Ale, which is quite nice, but that's newish. Uh, and they do a Pacific Ale, which is a little bit different. And that's a bit newer as well. Um, but yeah, it's a good one. Is that the guy we had on loan? 
last season? It is. He did nothing for us. Petrovic should be making his debut. Oh my god, they signed Kenny. We're fifth in the league, everybody. We're only four points off top. That's what I'm talking about. It's been a long time coming. Transfer deadline in one week. We've done all our business. We're not signing any more players. I've disrupted this squad enough. Unless there's a dirt cheap, awesome superstar youngster. Not going to happen. I'm not even going to the recruitment meeting. We can't afford to sign anybody anyway. Actually, should we um, take the finances? Oh, our wage budget sorted. Oh, did you look at that? Hmm. Also, the other thing I noticed before, Penfield B has the Seattle Rotary Selection Imports. Hopefully, catch one of them. Nice. And you're in Seattle. Birthplace of Grunge. Um, just tell them. Tell them what to get. Tell them I sent you. Say, look, old mate DP said you need all these beers. Make it happen. There's a whole bunch of like IPAs and craft beers as well. Um, they'd probably lean more heavily into that. But yeah, so Coopers and Han uh, and James Bergs are a bit more mainstream. So it might not be their thing, but. Board alert, takeover in progress. Someone come in with all the money. Give us a sugar daddy takeover, please. I've never, ever, 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 ever had one in all my years of playing football manager. Nunez is going out on loan. That is great. He's going to Burnley, which is probably less great. What are their facilities like? They've got good facilities. He'll be fine. They've seen the Deadpool movies? But yeah, as they bloody well should. Everyone should just do what I tell them to do. It's a recipe for mediocrity. You can't miss. Scouting updates. Can't afford any of you. Because I've only got 20 million to spend. Do, 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 do. I want any of you anyway. So there. It's a good one, so. Keep an eye on you all until January. Oh, very thirsty. Cotton mouth happening. It's crazy. Right. Team selection advice. All of this is wrong. You're wrong. You're all wrong. Chris Moore, you're a frig knuckle son, and your mother was a frig knuckle too. And we're playing an unfit centre back. So, you know, what's the worst that could happen? Did I keep Petrosco on the bench? There we go. Mentoring groups fixed. Didn't even realise they were an issue. Three plays in Team of the Week. That's pretty awesome. Uh, I don't have a centre back on the bench. It seems like a dumb thing. It's a very me thing to do. But a dumb thing nonetheless. We're not going to have a fit backup striker, which could be an issue. Keep going, son. Keep improving. Get up here and then stay there forever. I knew he was going to be a good striker. I was really worried. He scouted okay. Um, 
but he wasn't setting the world on fire. But he's coming, he's scoring goals, he's doing everything we want him to do. So, yeah, he's impressing me so far. He just needs to keep it up. Consistent goal scorer is what we need. And if he doesn't keep it up, the next season he'll be the backup and we'll spend all of our money on the best possible striker we can get. And it won't be Haaland or an old man. It'll be someone like hitting their peak. Like an Ivan Pollard. Do, 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 do. Come along now. I'm gonna play some football. Get to the end of the month. We are playing a weakened team. We've rotated extremely heavily for this one. Seems like a bad move if you're not fit, buddy. But the rest of it is going to be fine. We're giving the armband to Roberto. Isn't that nice of us? Let's go. Dressing room doesn't agree with the team sheet. It's fine. It's the Carabao Cup. Nobody cares. Even though they're like, be competitive or reach the latter stages, whatever. It's a Carabao Cup. Nobody gives a toss. Other than, again, it's a route into European football. So maybe I should be taking it a bit more seriously than I am. But we signed all these players for a reason, especially the young ones. This is a good chance for them to cut their teeth. Show me what you got. Let's go. Let's kick the crap out of Reading. Encourage lads, turn the possession around, add some shots. We're not scoring any goals. Here we go, we got a corner. Roberto, doink, doinks it in. They've headed it away. His Horak trying to turn, he's given that away cheaply. But Roberto's just said, nope, I'll have that, thank you very much. Delabasic plays it over, looking for Vale. No joy, Novakovic, back to Horak. Three to Vale, who has scored a lovely, lovely goal. We'll wait until the ref confirms it because I don't trust the match engine at all. But I think that is going to be awarded. And it is. That's his first goal of the season. Trumpets for Vale. Vale. Vals. It's Vale. It sounds way fancier. And as we know, we're all about... Airs and graces, not substance in these parts. Lovely stuff. It's a great strike too. Lots of curve. Boom. 1-0 to the Magpies. Let's make it two, gentlemen. Burner with the corner. Doink, doink. And that's a goal. Goes has got his fifth goal of the season already. Easy. He's in form, he's scoring goals consistently. And that's the second goal our striker has scored in the air. Which again, it's been about 10 years since we've seen that in this save. <laughs> Allegri to Horak, through Roberto. Guay, no joy. Oh, goes, Guay, goes, gets. I could look it up. I could research how to say his name properly. I'm not gonna. He's got a hat trick. Is it a hat trick? No, he's got two. I thought it was three. Finally scored the first one. I forget things. Two goals off his noggin. Take him up at half time. He's doing the Lord's work here. Fair enough. Plays it over. He's headed that just over. 
Tell you what, kid's doing all right. And I'm absolutely here for it. Novakovic. Having a run. Plays it through. Ballet to Horak to Roberto. Bursting through the center. No luck. But Ballet does his best Aspria impression and just takes the ball back. The, oh! That's was there again. Come on, let's, let's get another one before half time. We can probably go positive now. 3 0 up. Keep it going, gents. More of the same, please. Just looking at fitness. Make a change here. We'll take off Petrasco because he's tired. Silver's going to get a run. Um, um, I mean, really, that'll kind of do for now, but we'll give Gil a run. Horrocks had a good game. I'm not punishing him by any stretch of the imagination. Here we go. Let's get another goal. Let's get goals as hat trick. Or oh, I can have a brace. No, nope, no joy. Me. Sad times. Let's try it back to balance because we've done nothing since I changed it. Come on, score a screaming free kick. And he does. That's his hat trick. And what a bloody way to do it. Amazing. I mean, he's alright, isn't he? He'll do. Alright, substitutions, because we've got some tired bodies now. Uh, you can come off for... We'll give a spree or a run up front. Why not? Burn is tired. One more change to make. Um, right, Koviak can play in the center for us for the last 10 minutes. He'll be fine. We're 4-0 up, by the way. Keeping score. What a snipe indeed. We had all our youngsters on the pitch, pretty much. And my word, have they got the job done. That's a good ball. Look at Valet. He's tired. Back to Novakovic. To Allegre. He's looking for Roberto. Couldn't find him. Danger time now, because these guys will be desperate to save some face. We're in injury time. We're just trying to run it out more than anything. Can I get a consolation? Nope. Our defenders are defending. Do you see that? They stopped the goal. We don't do that. We were doing it against Liverpool as well. It's crazy. Don't understand. It does not compute. Blow the whistle, ref. This game's over. Stick a fork in them. They're done. A dup, up, up. Doop. There we go. That's a, that's a win is what we did there. We we did we did some footballs. So much praise to give out. You did well. I am proud of Werner. Super proud of Werner. It's my little project. And he was great. Novakovic played well. Petrosko played well. 
Costa had a great game. Hell yeah. Still don't remember who Antonio Silva is. Oh, centre back. Antonio Silva, of course. I couldn't learn his name. <laughs> so too many players. Yay! What a hero. Burns happy. Brentford went through on pens. Game for Werner. So, Gway now is on seven goals from five games. He's also scored two goals in World Cup qualifying in two games. Now, I'm not going to get carried away here. But the last time I had a South American player who was doing this sort of stuff, played by the name of Angelo. Mr. Lucas in the chat knows exactly who I'm talking about. My all-time favourite football manager player. But I'd signed younger than this. Signed him when he was 19, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe 21. Can't exactly remember. But he went on to become the greatest footballer in the history of football manager not just in that save ever I don't I don't care who you talk to the guy was amazing I'm a little bit excited about this kid I know that was a Carabao Cup game but he's also 4 for 4 in the Prem we know he had a couple of non-scoring games but oh I'm excited We just need a backup striker fit so he can rest. With his fitness level looking as it is, he might be a 60 minute or 70 minute sub. Now United want to loan him, are you serious? Yeah, sure. You're not that good though, mate. You're just not. Why is everyone chasing you? What aren't we seeing? Panicardas and Dario are better than him. That's why he doesn't play. Who are we gonna draw for the third round of the cup? It'll be Manchester United. Nope, Norwich. I was close. What league are running in? Championship. And they're pretty much bottom. Alright, so maybe we'll take that result with a grain of salt, eh? But you know. Still happy. Gee, Chelsea are up to a rough start, aren't they? We aren't, no. We're doing fine. And we're at home against Norwich. Nice. We lost to Norwich last season. We got smashed by Norwich at the end of last season. 4-0 away from home. It was disgusting. And if you were watching yesterday, my word was I angry. It was not a happy game, bro. We've had a game rescheduled. I'm not playing great. It's not happening. Actually, you know what? We'll give it a shot. Let's just go suggest a team. It's the worst that can happen. We just gotta fix up the bench because it'll be screwed. Yep. Called it. Oh, 
Um, what are we missing? Bench, though. Why would I not play? Yeah, I want to play volley. I kind of want to play win as well. Sacrament bench. Don't call it in this game time. All right. Uh, yeah, let's probably sit this one out. Is it silly? Yes. Yes, it absolutely is. Could we lose the game? Lose every game. You never know. But we'll see how we go. How much longer are you winched for? Five days. No one else needs to run there. Okay. What what? Press conference. Meow. Done. No England plays for soccer. Well, that's just dumb. The England manager is a moron. You heard it here first, kids. No, what are you injured again for, you idiot? What are you injured for, you idiot? With a bruised knee, really? He'll pass his fitness test, surely. It's a bruise, harden up, princess. Oh, I got a boo-boo on my knee, I can't play the football. Bill ain't never winched about a sore knee. Who's this kid? Kevin Dalglish. He's 18, four star potential. I will buy that kid for two and a half million. Bite your arm off. Potential. I'll take him. So much for not doing any transfer business. Start negotiations. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay. I'll loan you out. I'm talking about. And he's quick as. We're expecting a draw against Derby. That seems a little bit pessimistic. So, what don't we know about Derby that I should know? have him unless you want to pay a fortune. Look at that player's been called up for internationals. International footballers abound. We're doing the Lord's work here. Right. 
Let's go undefeated first month of the season. Let's not screw the pooch against Derby. I haven't picked pooch scoring squad, I don't think. Or have I? I don't know. I'm doubting myself now. Yeah, offering that one. See, I told you, pass his fitness test. He's fine. Dog court can't play. You're ineligible. That's Christensen. We're coming up on an international break. Why am I messing around with this? We're going full strength. It just seems stupid not to. about throwing Gray. Can play defensive mid for us but not centre back. I like having the experience on the pitch and I don't want to risk Bailey, even though it's right before an international break and he'd have some time to recover. I don't want to take the chance. I just hope Bailey steps up and is great. Again. Okay, let's see what these guys can produce. Yeah, I do expect nothing but a win here. More of the same from Goez, please. Goe, whatever we're gonna call him. I am gonna Google how to say his name. I wanna get it right, because so far he's been a hero and I don't want him to get cranky with me. They've got real heads in their team. We still got a couple? Yeah, we do. One, two, three, four real heads. We got more real heads than them. Ha ha. Come on, lads, let's go. We're away from home, but that's no excuse. Why are they getting shots off? Let's not screw it up and give the ball away. Gill with the shot. Forcing the save. Pretty sure G I worry. Yep. <laughs> that makes it so much easier. Petrosco scored from a set piece. Hey, that's his first goal for the club. Our set pieces are working! And we're 1-0 up. Oh, I'm a happy man. And Zeus was there. Giori, you're a monster. <laughs> I love it. Uh. Pressure home, get the football. Yep, keep him boxed up. Up here. Don't let him out. Oh, nearly. A little bit too hard on the uh, on the interception. He's got no support. No! Oh, you idiots! Oh, 
We hadn't conceded a goal for ages. I forgot how much it sucks. Track back, just didn't spot this runner. He didn't pick him up there. Come positive. Gonna demand more. Way with a hospital pass. Delabasic wins it at the back. Spria trying to have a run. Getting a bit jammed up. Gill through to Zuf. Hey, we're back in front. Eighth goal of the season. Much better. Yeah, yeah. Doink. Good strike. Just a little bit of curve. Takes it around the keeper. Shaq has been quiet. Second half, let's go finish the job, gentlemen. I'm gonna take Gway off, and I think we're gonna to switch to our other formation, and just do away with defensive mid, because he's been pretty useless, and he's an old man. Which, of course, negates the point of having Bailey on the bench. Probably didn't need to. I should have had this idea before kickoff, is what I should have done. Spria with the corner. Doink. Get a blue shirt on it. Gil, what are you doing? You're taking too long. Sort your life out. Josco turns, highlight, ends. Should have seen that coming. Half, uh, 60 minute mark, we're gonna make that change. Or changes. To suit my new, improved plan. Unless we can see it here, in which case I'm gonna be a livid. Hit the crossbar. I believe that garbage. All right, Gil's coming off for Roberto. Barley's coming on Saka. As much as I really don't want to risk him. Crazy. He's found the area. Penalty. Penalty referee. Clear penalty. All day long, that's a pen. He was in the box. Reset penalty takers. Crap. Who's taking it? Roberto. Come on. 3 2. Drop it back to Posi Pos. Uh, Bally Bally. Balanced. That's his first goal for the club, mind you. Aha! Goal! It's too much happening. I've got to push all the buttons and I can't take the pressure. Oh. We 
three, two up. I'm demanding more. Kick him in the face. What are you doing? Oh, I thought they were going to sneak one in there. Ooh, we just got to hold on, lads. Burn it. Leathers it. It's exactly what I want from him. Plane three. Yes, go Barrowcliff. Go, score it. The loney, Daniel Barrowcliff, has sealed the three points in a seesaw battle against a bunch of sheep from Derby. He shouldn't have caused us this many problems. Just a couple of brain farts caused some drama. But uh, safe to say, we've righted the ship. And now just a few more minutes to finish the job and survive our first month of the second season in the Prem. Undefeated. Roberto is in. He's already scored a goal. He's into Barracliff. Barracliff's got his second. It's 5 2. The kids come on the pitch and just taking the grain by the scruff of the neck. Mark that off on your cliche bingo cards. Lovely stuff. Come on, go get another one. I dare you, give the kid a hat trick. It'll be great. And poor goers have played the whole game. He's exhausted, he's got nothing in the tank. Vernon's in now. Nope. And they scored an Oni. Rocket is gonna get a rocket up him after this game. Sign him up, we'll play him up front. He's a great header. He's done really well with this chance. <laughs> Poor bugger. <laughs> <Did you? laughs> that poor guy. This clown has just leathered that into his face. Oh. Poor guy. Look at me in my white suit. Yes! Barracliffe's come off the bench and been made man of the match and we're playing in a formation we don't train. Out of sheer desperation. This kid, awesome. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the first month of the season, undefeated. That's right, we're invincible. And we're third in the flipping league. Look at that. We could still drop because the potato men have got a game in hand on us, but I'm digging that. I'm liking the look of that league table. Goal glut. Six goals. We're gonna owe, bloody hell. Norberto is now five goals away from 10 league goals, which means we'll have to pay another eight and a half million to United. So that's annoying. Giving up enough money this summer. Absolutely, we're going to this press conference. 
far. These lasers, Drew! Losers! Olia! So, we're doing alright. We're scoring goals, mostly, unless to an anomaly. I probably rotated too hard for that one. Actually, I didn't rotate at all. We kept the same team we smashed Brentford with. Anyway, it was away from home, so blur. But we've broken the away from home curse right here. 6-2. I'll take that any day of the week. Next up, Fulham, Bournemouth, Norwich, and Chelsea. If we have a look at the league table, Fulham are all the way down here. Norwich are up here, and Chelsea are down here. It's a decent run of games. And the Norwich game doesn't even count in the league. Because that's Mickey Mouse Cup territory. Alright. I am going to set up a friendly against a teeny tiny team. Let's go play Alfreton. Kick the crap out of them. Let's keep morale up. But morale is excellent at the moment. Managerial support is good. Social groups are yeah, yeah, coming together. A bit disrupted with all the signings, but that's to be expected. Um, nobody's super upset. Hierarchy's good. Finances, club's in debt, massively. But hey, we've got money, so meh. Oh, that's right, I made an offer for that kid. Cool, cool. Club vision wise, how are we looking? Everybody happy? Border happy? We're getting a B. Take that. Supporters, we're on a B. So far, so good. We are going to leave things right smeg in there, everybody. I'm going to wrap it up tonight because uh, the wheels are probably going to come off. Um, and I don't want to go through that tonight because I'm feeling good. I'm feeling light. I'm feeling dynamic. We will be streaming tomorrow, probably during the daytime, which I don't know is a bit of a hassle for our European compadres. Uh, we may even have two streams. It's a public holiday here for Anzac Day, uh, the day here in Australia where uh, we just take a bit of time uh, to pay our respects to our servicemen and, and women um, who have fought in conflicts all over the world, World War One, World War Two, Vietnam, Korea. Gulf War everywhere. Um, very solemn occasion here um, for everybody, but especially the diggers and their families. So we'll mark it. I'll get a, a poppy on the overlay or, or something um, to show our respects. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a day, but no work, so I can stream. So we're going to be doing that, and uh, I'll look forward to seeing all of you then. Thank you to everyone for stopping by and seeing awesome goals and stupid wins and having an actual striker, which is fantastic. Oh, so happy. It's all going so well. Touch wood. I'm not jinxing it. Anyway, kids, that's going to do it from here in the DP at home. I am your old mate DP, and until next time, I shall see you next time. You've got to press the button or the thing doesn't do the thing.